Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Real Talk with SLR. How are you guys doing today? Y'all, we're chilling in the basement this morning, having us some nice coffee, hanging out with you guys. Yep, yep. A lot happened yesterday. We're definitely going to be chatting about it and filling y'all in. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, man. Good stuff. I'm still trying to wake up. I've been awake for... What now? Almost two hours. <laughs> for you, yeah. The alarm's already going off at five thirty this morning. It's eight o'clock for us right uh, now. We're still dragging booty, but no. it's second a, cup of coffee. Yeah, should wake us up. Yeah, get us should, going. By the time that this is over, we should be we should be in the groove. Should be ready to go. Um, Sergeant Funko, good morning, y'all from Missouri. Well, howdy, howdy, hey, northern hey. neighbor. What's going How's on? How's it going? Hope you're uh, handling the storms well. <laughs> yeah, we had a pretty big one blow through. I don't know if it hit you or not, but it was. Definitely uh, raining cats and dogs all night last night. No. And for a very good portion of the day yesterday. Although, it didn't start until much later than I actually thought it was going to. Like, I thought it was going to rain, like, yeah. when we got done eating. It would be raining. No. I you definitely know? thought it was going to be raining a lot more. But Alien Eyes. Greetings from Germany. Well, how, hello, hello. Hello, hey, all the way hey. to Germany. How's it going? Ridge Life. Go Ridge Life. Hey, What's going hey. on, sir? Hope you're feeling better. Mama Murphy, hello. Tundra Jason, good morning from the toilet. What's going on? Don't forget to wipe, bro. Wash your hands. Sitting on a toilet. <laughs> Sitting on a toilet. Sitting on a toilet. You guys remember that back in the day? Those memes? Oh, oh man. man. That was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe you remember, maybe you don't. I don't know. If you know, you know. Sue Wagner, hello, hello, good morning. And Sam Mosher, good morning from the KC area. Well, good morning. What's going on? Charles the Masters. Hello, hello. Firefly64. Hey there, Tim. How's the pain coming along? I know it hurts doing PT. Yeah. Yeah, physical therapy is pretty... pretty oh, uh, I seen that brace that you were wearing. It looks like a good one, though. It looks like a really good brace. Mm -hmm. Help uh, help you a little bit right there. I can't even imagine, man. <laughs> I can't imagine that, dude. Legs? People... People that do not have ankle issues or knee issues or anything else like that have never had like to wear a cast or stay off their foot. They don't understand it. Like the, people just don't understand it. They don't get it until you're in there. Okay? I never. I didn't it. understand it until I got my until I messed up my foot and I had to be in crutches. You I was know? gonna say I never really got it until I got the gout <sighs> and then I was like, oh, this stinks. Yeah. But at With least your hands, had, you can do whatever. At you least know, we had the roller. The part. You know yeah. that helped. Yeah, that helped. But yeah, I know my heart goes out to you, Tim. Good morning, O'Rourke's Little Field. I hope you're doing well today. Ooh, yeah. Sleeping in the brace is the worst thing. Yeah. I, I imagine that too. I, I wish you could take it off while right. you were sleeping, but that's probably not the best idea. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I wish I had better suggestions to offer, but I know you got a good uh, elevate. Elevate your foot. Or you got a good plan knee. going. Just keep working the plan. Should... You'll be feeling better soon. Yeah, it's going to take a minute. It's going to take a minute. I can't wait to, uh, unless I'm late, and I, I don't know, because we went to bed kind of early last night, but I'm waiting, I'm patiently waiting for that footage, the trail cam footage of, oh no! Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I'm laughing because you're laughing uh, when talking to us about it. Yeah. It's not funny, it really sucks, but, you know, if we can laugh at ourselves... I get the heebie-jeebies thinking you know? about it. Like, oh, you know... <laughs> Good morning, it's all Grady. Good morning, good morning, guys. Good morning. I hope that you guys are having a good morning this morning. Hopefully you guys didn't get drowned out. Yes, yes. Uh, oh, here he goes. Wait until you see the trail cam video of this old man bucking his knee getting off the ATV. So awkward. Oh, man. I knew you said there was trail cam. So it's not out yet, then. I didn't miss anything. Okay. Okay. So, guys, um... Good morning, first off. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for hanging out with us. I've probably been saying that, like, I don't know how many times. Somebody's got, like, a ticker on how many times we've said that so far. <laughs> but yesterday was great, guys. Yesterday no. was a fantastic day. Um, the day before that, we really put in a ton of work um, over there in the animal area. And uh, no. Gary and I, we weren't, like, we've been battling back and forth the storm that's kind of going through right now. All and, week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all week. <laughs> So we hit a few hours that we can get out there and hit it. And then we have a few hours we got to go run inside and huddle and stuff, right? Yeah. And then as you guys know, um, the last time that we like 
we, we were working up on the decking, we ran ourselves out of materials. And so we're waiting for our new order for the deck materials to come in. Mm-hmm. Well, that should be today. Should be today. That should be today if all things go well and people don't get stuck in the mud. And, you know, if everything goes according to plan, Gary and I actually added to that order, yeah. like, cause, okay. So here, hear me out. So we recorded a real talk yesterday where we filled you guys in on everything, but we were in town the whole day and it didn't ever get uploaded. And so then I never put it public. So I'm trying to figure out what we've told you guys. So we're not repeating ourselves too much yeah. and what we haven't. Well, we so didn't I guess, put out anything on that. Yeah. I don't yeah. think the last time we've talked with you guys or done anything was, I don't know. Fill me in Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. It was Tuesday. Tuesday. So the day that we went to, no, we went to no. town yesterday. Monday. So our week's all so kind of awkward too, because Monday was the eclipse. Party. Monday was the eclipse. Yeah. Tuesday was the day that we actually worked on the, on the, on the animal enclosure. The animal things. Now, and then yesterday was Wednesday. With, That's yes, what it was. What they were left off with Our days was are all messed up. us Good being like, I don't know what we're going to do. That's what it was. We didn't know what we were going to do. Well, no. I guess we're telling you right now. We what went we over did. and <laughs> we, I have a video coming out later on Simple Life for Plane today too. But um, we ended up going over to the animal enclosure area since we were oh. in between materials, right? We couldn't work on the deck. Yeah. Um, and we, so we put together that metal framing while Gary and I went over on Tuesday and we worked our booties off and we were not expecting to be able to work a full day because the rain was threatening. And, um, like the, I, if I remember correctly, the weather map said it was supposed to start pouring on us at like one. Yep. And so we were like, okay, well, at least we can get in four or five hours or something before one. So let's get over there and get as much done. And it didn't start raining until after the kids came home. So nope. when the kids were coming home, that's actually like perfect timing to where when we finished up to doing what we wanted to get done, which was uh, a bunch of purlins everywhere, nope. all over the place. Nope. So we secured all those poles. Yes. They are uh, no more flapping in the wind. <laughs> coming no apart. more able to just roll down the hill you know, with a storm. You yeah. Know? <laughs> no, it's, it's actually pretty stout. It's a lot more stout than I was anticipating. It was. Because y'all know how I like to overdo it, you know. I was just like, you know what? Even that whole build, all right? I, I surprised Mel. He I surprised myself me. a little he bit on it. Me. But yeah, I, I did the whole kiss method on that one. He did. And that's probably why we were able to get so much done. Because it is just a hundred chicken shelter slash future goat, goat shelter, right? I'm so it doesn't that need it to be like perfect, perfect. In a sense, right? I hope but, it'll last. I feel like I hope we're not revisiting it next year, you know, I really hope we're not. <laughs> but at the same time, like what we're adding to it, like after seeing some of the sheds that, you know, how they are held together and put together and everything else like that. Right. Yeah. We've and taken down a few. <laughs> so it's just like, you know, what? I think that this is going to be fine. And put like, up a few, you yeah. know, so we're, we are going to cover it with metal completely mm-hmm. all the way around. And that's what was added to our order that we should be getting today. No. Yeah. So we've got. We're going to be getting a lot of stuff today. Yeah. A lot of stuff. Today's going to be really busy. We're going to have to divide and conquer because this morning when we're done chit-chatting and hanging out, we're trying to mosey this morning because we know that as soon as we get off this, that we're going to be just flying, going crazy. No. So we're trying to just mosey into the morning. But uh, today we're going to have to divide and conquer. I'm going to have to spend a ton of time inside the kitchen doing a lot of baking um, and getting things prepared because on Saturday is Brittany's baby shower and in the morning and then in the wedding it's uh, and the wedding is in the evening no. so it's a very busy day on saturday today's thursday already so while i'm in the kitchen working and doing all that gary's gonna have to go and receive the order at some point when the order comes i'm gonna have to stop whatever i'm doing and we're gonna have to unload the trailer no. and i think we're gonna put everything up inside the cabin except for the metal we're gonna see if maybe he'll back it up get tiny out of the way and then have him back it all the way up, I think. Gary's looking at me like I'm dumb. We're gonna we're gonna see what we can do. I'm gonna see In other words, he doesn't like that idea. Well no, it just <laughs> it really just depends. Well, it could be on the top, you know? Like the metal could be all up on top of it. Hmm? Or on the side of it. Or I it just depends on how the trailer's that. See what I'm saying? Yeah, if that I'm assuming that the metal's gonna be on top only because they're adding it to the order after they've already prepared. Well, they haven't so. even received the order. That's why I added it to it. They haven't received the order I placed. 
Oh, well, that's that coming zip. today. They're going to have to unload that trailer from their order or that I put, today. and they're going to have to put that on their trailer as well as all that metal on the trailer. Okay. So it all just depends on how they I thought they already had it and they were getting it ready for us. Everything, but, but yeah. Anyways, it's neither here nor there. No. We'll have, I'll have to stop whatever I'm doing at some point and help Gary out to unload it because yep. we're going to have not Todd. And we're going to have Gary to unload. And I know that they could use a third, a uh, third person. No. So. No, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot. Um, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. Um, it was a fun day though. When we were out there getting it, getting all the purlins and stuff together, I was absolutely shocked at how Gary was very, um, just grab this measuring tape. And we had some calamities. Um, <laughs> Calamities. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the tape, the situation oh, yeah. with the tape. I'm also I talking mean, about the, the flying squirrel show. That wasn't a calamity, though. That actually ended up working out pretty good. Um, in fact, uh, I'll give you some sneak peeks early. The early bird gets the worm. So here, I set this thing up so that way you could see my screen. We'll see how this works. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's no audio to this, so... Insert like the Benny Hill show theme song. Here we go. <laughs> oh, see, look at, see, now you guys can see what I'm looking at. Times like a thousand in a zoom. Hold on. How about that? I can't see you guys anymore. So hold on. Let me wait till the, the time catches up on the delay and then I'll push play. <laughs> I'm trying something different, guys. I'm trying something different. <laughs> uh, okay, wait. All right. Now I'm seeing it. Wait. Okay. Yeah. All right. I did set it up. All right. Okay. Insert uh, Vinnie Hill theme song. This was kind of fun. Time lapse mode. This is like some real behind the scenes. This is the stuff that gets cut out of videos. It's like I'm recording Gary and then I go and I set the camera down and Gary's like, okay, we need to tighten this thing up. So he gets all his st stuff out and, you know, I casually go over there to the horse trailer and Gary puts me on his shoulders. You know, we're doing the flying squirrel show. But we got it all done. And that is uh, because this man didn't want to walk up the hill and go get a ladder. So No, not when I, you know, I was just trying to get a couple of boards up right now to hold it together. Yep. So and it, it worked just fine. It I worked, mean, it did work out really good. I had to get the ladder eventually, you know, but. Yeah. So as you guys can see, we went, <laughs> <laughs> we did end up having to go get the ladder anyway. But that's neither here nor there. Yeah. That's, the whole time I was up. like praying. I'm like, please don't drop me in the mud. Uh, but as you guys you. can see, this is what I'm editing and I'm working on today. And uh, he got the wood down there on the bottom. And I don't know what the rest of this footage has. Okay, there we go. Some more, some more. I haven't even fully previewed it all. So we got some more of the, the wood pieces. And those are getting dragged over from our uh, big, huge kind of like dump pile of wood that was milled when we cleared out our spot. And so Gary and I just went ahead and you see how we're kind of adding it to the frame. We went ahead and we added it to the frame everywhere, like everywhere, everywhere. And you guys will see the, the finished stuff later on today, hopefully. Let me get out of this crazy, like, into the view, into the view, into the view. There we go. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I'd share that with you guys because it's funny. And uh, it's kind of some of the stuff that we were working on. So now that we have that all set up and like Perland all the way on the sides, the all, all ends, all areas, and now it's very stiff and it's very um, not moving and heavy and it's it's there. It's there. It's there. We went, went ahead and made all of our measurements <laughs> and um, like I said, we got the metal coming. So now we're in between all this stuff that we're juggling. It's kind of hard to keep a straight line sometimes. No, tiny. No. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Obey. Go back. There we go. But yeah, it's kind of... <laughs> Rich Life Benny Hill. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> good morning. It looks good. Thank you. Um, Lonely Hitchhiker said it was more fun Gary's way. Yeah, it was pretty fun. It was funny. I was just begging, like, please don't drop me in the mud. Um, but yeah, we got a lot of stuff done Tuesday. And then yesterday, because we were at a standstill with that, we worked ourselves to a point where we were like, okay, well, now we need more materials for this area, too. <sighs> So, um, which I was surprised, like I said, getting that whole thing purlined up like that, that was not uh, like I was not anticipating that. I was hoping that, you know, I'd be able to get at least like the, side. the two sides done, but we were able to do all four sides and the roof. Mm -hmm. 
And it's all. It's all done. It's all done. All the way around. So, so we now ended, it's ready for metal. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to metal it. We're going to metal all the way around it. We're going to add a door to it. And then like a doggy door. So like a door that we could open up and get into easily. Um, yep. And then like wheelbarrow and stuff like that too. Put it like right there. And then we're also going to make like a doggy door, a goat door, I guess. Yep. So that way um, they can go in and out through that. And that shelter is going to house the hundred chickens that are coming in like another two and a half weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to house the goats after the chickens make it to the freezer camp. So yep. yeah, we're trying to get a lot done, but actually it's really good that we're blessed with the rain and that we worked ourselves out of decking materials. So that way we can go and have the time. And not mm -hmm. feel like we're going too crazy, even though we kind of are, because we're doing a bunch of stuff at once. That's springtime on a homestead. Yeah. Everybody does a thousand things at once during the springtime on a homestead. Tell me you don't. <laughs> like, don't. everybody's going crazy. And then, yeah, we went to the, we went to store, or the store yesterday. Got a lot of, uh, a lot of everything. Yep. A lot of everything. Yep. <laughs> And the reason why we had to go to the store was because we needed some brackets that we were not able to order and put on our order. Yep. And so we were thinking we were just going to drive up to Fort Smith and get some metal brackets for the decking instead of ordering it online. So we thought it would be faster if we went there and got it. Well. I didn't have the one bracket I really, really wanted to get. You were able to find on. a few other things, though. I found a few other brackets, but. Yeah. Yeah. That's. I really wanted these one specific ones, and uh, yeah, I wish the one that I ordered from Amazon was what it said it was. I hate it when that happens too sometimes. Yeah, you know, I bought already these once, and it said, "Hey, that's what it is," and that's why I, I but I bit the bullet and bought it off of Home Depot's website. Yep. So it and better that, be what it hey, <laughs> what it says. That actually has <laughs> shipped already. I did get the confirmation that that shipped. Yep. So we should be getting that soon too. Today, actually. Today. From what it said. I so have to we're gonna triple get, check the shipping and so make we'll sure that that's that today, still the same thing. And then also the other part of the order today. We're going to get it all today. That's so awesome. That's it. That's that. And uh, yeah, that's going to make it really, really nice. We did pick up the stain. Yep, that we got we, the stain. Uh, that we wanted to get. So as soon as we get all that material and we get it in, you know, depending on when we get it and everything, we can start getting the stain going. Yeah, well, you, today and tomorrow, could you going. could get stained going. Because today, I already told Gary, I said, today and tomorrow, I cannot do much of anything else other than what I have to do for editing and getting videos out on the channel in the morning. Yeah. And then in the afternoon, I have to just spend my entire time in the kitchen. And I've had some people ask me, are you guys going to be bringing me along in the kitchen? I was thinking about it, but honestly, I might just show you guys afterwards because it's going to be so busy and I, got, I have so much to do. to do. I don't know if I have enough time to mess around with filming. Like, I know it seems like it would be so easy. Oh, just set the camera down and just record. That's not how recording goes. Not if you want like good <laughs> videos. So, <laughs> you know, I wish it would be that easy, but that's just not how it rolls. No, no. You know, you got to worry about lighting and audio and, you know, angles and all the things and it would just be easier for me not to have to worry about it and my main focus of course is Brittany and having her have a beautiful baby shower and wedding and stuff like that so I want to make sure to give it my all without no. having to split my all so no. I already told Gary today and tomorrow that's kind of what I'm busy doing but I will stop what I'm doing and go and help unload the trailer and everything else everything else hopefully he doesn't come at like a pivotal moment <laughs> I'm hoping not. I'm like right in the middle of stacking stuff. I got like all 500 right, things not. going and all of a sudden, hey, Mel, stop what you're doing. Come outside and unload. Oh, man. Right. That would suck. <laughs> it always happens that way. It does always happen that, that way, unfortunately. <laughs> but fortunately at the same time. Yeah. I, no, I mean, life is good. Life yeah. is good. But um, <clears throat> but no, it should be it should be pretty good. Plus, we also did something as well on top of it when we went to uh, town. Yes, yes we did. Uh, it's kind of a, it's a lot of something. Which I might end up doing some of that today. Cool, I'll throw a GoPro at you. I'm thinking, like, <laughs> they, say, they say not to, but I could do something to make it to where I could. We got plants. Yeah. Lots and lots of plants. <laughs> so there's this place that we pass by every time that we go to Fort Smith. And it's called Sharums, I think. Sharums or uh, S H A R U M S. I think it's 
thought it was A-U-R. Mm-mm. And no. Yes. No. I'll find out right now. I'm going to go show you one of our things that we got. Go ahead and tell a story, baby. So, we always pass by this place going into Fort Smith. And, uh... Anthony and Rocks have already went and checked it out and everything. They've said, dude, they've got they got some really good mature trees and all sorts of stuff over there. And uh, I was like, man, I really want to go and just triple check and just see what they've got, what prices are and everything else like that. And I did want to get some, you know, some fruit plants or uh, vegetable plants and whatnot like that. And yeah, lo and behold, we, we ended up buying a... Uh, Crap ton See? of plants. Okay, it is R E U M S. Yeah. I shouldn't question my wife on spelling. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so that's right. Uh, what she's got right there is citronella, mm -hmm. or what they have referred to as uh, the mosquito, mosquito shocker. Shocker. Yeah. Yeah. We were like, you can, and they say it gets rid of flies too. We're like, hmm, we'll be the judge of that. Well, I say that it get ri gets rid of flies because they. All I say heard, is, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> we'll see. We, we see the mosquito aspect, or we've heard about the mosquito aspect of it a lot. Um, but when we bought them last year, we got that from our local feed store and everything like that. We put them out on the front patio. We didn't have that many flies. Like, we still had flies, but. It's ridiculous on the amount of flies <laughs> that were gone. Like, it, it definitely helped keep it away. So, I'm going to definitely set up some more fly traps, that reminds me. But we have a lot of plants. And now if I plant those, I can use your tomato cages, right? Yep. Put them over it and wrap them with plastic over and make its own solar, like, or greenhouse, basically. Yeah, we've Before done that. Before the temperatures. See, but we don't have a bunch of freezing temperatures right now. I think that they would be fine. No, I know, but I'm just saying off of what the almanac says, right? Yeah, yeah. You can. So it's April 25th mm -hmm. is when we were supposed to be transplanting those. So yeah. it's like, it's April 11th, but I want to get them in the ground and out, off of, need, we, out of the house. <laughs> we can either do one of two things. We can leave them on the tables in the living room right now and just kind of babysit them for another week and a half inside the house or we can take them outside and transplant them no. so it's really just kind of i don't know what he wants to do mm -hmm. but whatever he wants to do is what we'll end up doing so but we got enough stuff to fill in all of the uh the bat the bare spots inside the garden so and they're already started off pretty good yep. so i'm pretty excited about that so mm -hmm. the garden's gonna be popping this year we've already got a ton that's popping down there too yep there's uh there's quite a bit like i think everything's Everything has been popped. Yeah. So it's gonna be nice putting in some decent sized plants. Yeah. Like they're they're pretty they're pretty decent sized too. Some of them got little like fruits on them already. Mm -hmm. Like uh, we did get some grapes and they have yeah. little like grapes on there and um, I don't know how well they'll do though. I've never grown these types of things, mm -hmm. so I'm totally noob about it all. And um, we're gonna give it a good go. We're yep. not gonna spend all of our time on it, but it is very therapeutic for us to have these other things in between building, yep. just to kind of like, we are doing, s no, Tiny, <laughs> stop it, <laughs> stop. Every it's, time I get deep in thought and I start talking with my hands, right? It's nice when you want to go take a breath of fresh air to be able to walk around our garden looking at stuff, you know, or go look at the animals or... Yeah, the animals are know. really therapeutic for us, too. It's, like, very calming, you know? And mm -hmm. the whole reason why we moved out here was to enjoy these things in life. Yep. Um, building is super fun, though, and building with you is always an adventure. Yeah. It is fun. I am very much enjoying it. And it's, a uh, you know, you don't want to rush the process because we are doing this like the first time ever yep. so we want to take our time with it and learn and, and enjoy the process of it and we're doing a great job of it yeah we're doing pretty good yeah um, i'm gonna read some of your all comments i'm sorry guys we've been ignoring you and just flapping our gums that's how we kind of do live chats sometimes especially when we got so much on the mind and um yeah and also real talk we're used to just sitting and talking blabbering. and blabbering on on real talk without any interaction so <clears throat> Let me see. I'm scrolling up to where I last saw you guys. Um, Firefly64, for those that want to like the live stream, close the chat, then you will see the option to hit the thumbs up. Thank you, Firefly. Yeah, oh, everybody, you. if you guys don't mind, hit the thumbs up for us. We appreciate it. 
Uh, McAllister Homestead is laughing at me. <laughs> Thanks, McAllister. Hope you're having a good morning. <laughs> good morning, Gene. I feel like the chat um, stopped on my phone. Matt Delmore, I enjoy watching you guys. Good morning. I enjoy having you here with us. Lonely Hitchhiker Kent, that's great. One step at a time. Thank you, Lonely. Appreciate that. Grumpy Grandpa Patriot Show. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you're doing good yes. today, sir. Um, Carol Heddle, it's looking good on the homestead. It's coming together. Congrats. Thank you so much, thank you, Carol. Thank you. We appreciate We work really hard on it every day. Little by little. Little by little. One step at a time. DIY different. Good morning, guys. How's, How's it, going it going today? Um, it's all Grady saying good morning to DIY different. Liz Ho, good morning, Liz. Good to see you hey, in hey. here. Good morning, Joan. What's going on? Good morning. Good morning, guys. Terry Three. Yeah, Mel, you don't need the camera messing with your focus. The wedding and baby shower are very important. Yeah. They are super duper important. And I have like, you know, peanut squirrel brain anyway. And I, I, I joke about myself about that, but it's really, it's like memory. I have issues with that sometimes. And I have to juggle so many things, right? So lists are my friend. <laughs> I'm a fan of lists. And I am a fan of... Um, kind of like blocking everything else out so that way I could focus on the one thing. Otherwise, I get easily distracted. It was no joke when I'm sitting there and I was putting those thought bubbles up, right? And it's all hee hee. I tell you what, I was for real thinking that while Gary was like explaining things to me. It just, my brain just grows legs and wanders off by itself. I just, yeah. <laughs> so I need to focus. I need to focus on uh, doing all that stuff for Brittany because it's going to be good. <laughs> um, let me see. Um, I'm going down. I'm scrolling down. Is the chat still moving? I think it's moving. I hope it didn't mess up. I don't know. Um, Kathleen McGinley, I found working in the garden, um, empties the brain relief. Absolutely. Yes. And tending to animals. Um, I love animals, you know, petting them and watching after them. And then even just like, you know, people... We'll go to the mall and they'll people watch, right? Or you go to a busy place and you just watch people. I like to do that, but with animals. Yep. It's fun. Bird watching. I like look, going outside and like listening and hearing the birds and then trying to find where they are in the trees. Yep. And like, well, what was that one look like? You know? Maybe one of these mornings we'll go sit down in the, the blind. In the blind? That would be and a lot we'll of fun. See, see the nature walking Do you guys want to go bird watching with on? us some, some morning? We can just set it up and then we'll just be quiet. You guys will just watch what we watch. We a lot of squirrels. Yay. <laughs> we a lot of squirrels. Sounds about right. <laughs> there are some woodpeckers up there. We'll probably be getting some good uh, blue bir bluebirds and uh, robins going on. There's one bluebird <laughs> that constantly has been flying in front of our house and everything right there and landing over in the side. Yeah, and the woodpecker has been out constantly on that one dead tree. Mm -hmm. Constantly. Um, Michelle Sprinkle, I have a mom fox and six pucks puppies in my yard. I love watching them. A mama fox? That's crazy. That would be very fun to watch. Mm -hmm. That's something that you don't really get to see every day. And, you know, you no. can always watch like, you know, Nat Geo or whatever, but if it's right there, that's no. so much cooler. Foxes are uh, foxes are pretty interesting. I'm not gonna lie. You've had a couple fox on the trail cameras. Mm -hmm. I've had a few on uh, the ones out here, and then uh, in Boulder City or whatnot, there was a family of foxes underneath like this uh, rock that's on this road, getting up to the top of the mountain. Mm -hmm. And we would watch them like I don't know. There's many many years of seeing them in that spot. You know. 10 years plus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, they're like family. They're really like family oriented uh, animals in a sense. They stay together and they bond they, with their family, you know, that's really, it's a very uh, sweet thing, I guess. Be like the fox. <laughs> Midnight vlog <laughs> says sometimes Gary is building two houses into one. That's extremely strong. <laughs> yeah. uh... So it's, it's good to be able to take a mental break from stuff sometimes, like we said, and go do things like the gardening and things like I can't, the animals. And I can't help it when there's, you know, there's certain things in my mind, especially out here, when we have driven around for the last few years and we're watching these houses that are around with super saggy, super saggy roofs, like super saggy and like houses that are burning down left and right. And it's just like. Dude, I don't know, man. I don't know. This moisture is a whole nother game, you know? And that's partly why I'm like, 
Throw more wood at it. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure it doesn't ever sag or mess with more. Add more of this. metal straps. More wood. <laughs> I swear, man. That's I don't know. Yeah, that's also why like we. I don't ever want to do it again. Okay. <laughs> 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 it's a blast. It's a lot of fun, but one time's enough. One, one time's enough. That's it. Yeah. No. It, it has been a lot of fun, though. And, and you know what? The next few step, steps for um, our build are going to change the whole field. Yeah. Like once we... No, Tiny! Man, I can't say nothing. <laughs> can't say nothing with my hands. But it's going to change the whole oh, field. Man. And once we, once we get the uh, new materials that we should be getting delivered today, once Gary's got the, um, the cutout design already... What is that called? Mar, 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 brain. The template. Template. That's the word I was the looking rafters. for. Yeah. So he's got the template already kind of like cut out and set to the side. So once we get these materials today, it's going to be like mark and cut, mark and cut, mark and cut. And be able oh, to like no. put everything up. No. Why do I say anything? I'm always no. wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's we what have to, I thought it was going it. to be. We have to stain it first. I was talking about after the staining. Oh, I thought you were talking about. I'm talking about when we when actually we are it. getting to the point where okay. we're setting it yes. up. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Sorry. My brain is doing this number. All right. I should never say anything. I'm going to be and wrong. I hear that. I'm all, wait, what? No. No. That's not happening. But then I let him explain it and nobody understands what the heck's going on. That's why he just needs to like explain it to me and then I can translate to everybody else as long as I don't get my wires crossed. Because he tries to explain it and everyone just gets that same squirrel look that I get. Oh. <laughs> what a shoot show. <laughs> It is what it is, all right? <laughs> uh, anyways, it's all Grady says y'all are killing it for your first time. Thanks, it's all Grady. We love you guys. You guys are killing it, too. Yeah. You guys took to the block work like nothing. You guys framed your building out like nothing. On bigger and better things. Mm-hmm. It's, it's good. It's very, very good. I'm so proud of everybody, guys. Yeah, um, Matt uh, Delamore... Del lore me. Del I'm sorry, Matt. Anyway, <laughs> he says I love watching the family go. Del Thank Lorm. you so so much. Delorm. Delorm. Yeah. I hope we did not butcher that. That's, I mean That probably is it. I don't know. That probably is it. Uh Grumpy Grandpa, M has a new product line, the twisted knee. <laughs> poor poor Ridge Life. Uh, O'Rourke's Littlefield, I just watched a pair of ducks up in the trees. You don't see that much. I think they have a That's nest crazy. close by. Yeah, you don't see ducks in trees. That's crazy, yeah. Mm -mm. We used to have a duck. I loved having a duck, but alas, I don't think we're going to get any ducks anytime soon. Um, they do need water, and I could put them down lot. over by the pond, but they will probably just fly away. We can set up a little habitat for the ducks over there if you want. Yeah, but with all for of our... when they do come. Yeah. If you set up a habitat for them, and if you set if you up a it, spot, they will come. They will come. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm just saying, I right? I would like to have some ducks, because I, I had a really good friend named Donald Duck, who was in Arizona. And uh, he was a great duck, and she just got too hot one day, and it was like three and a half year old duck already, and he had water, had shade, and I don't know if it was the heat or if it was age what happened but no i went out and he was in the pond floating but he was a, he was an old duck he was an old duck he was an old duck yeah but he was a good duck love that duck and i would no. love to have some more ducks but i just don't want him to run away no you know <laughs> or i get eaten well, like up a, like by, I by said, the we wild can put, animals we can go build up a little habitat go throw a couple of decoys out in the pond and you'll get some ducks down in there and hanging out mm-hmm as soon as they start hanging We've out. We've had some of those whatnot. big, um, are they swan? No, they're not swans. They're uh, um, cranes. cranes. We've had no. those big cranes over there hanging out in the pond. Those are pretty. Mm -hmm. We had like six of them over there at a time. No. Those are pretty cool. Eating away at our fish. <laughs> <laughs> Midnight vlogs. Mel needs another coffee. I do. I need some more coffee. Oh, man. I'm going to have to go brew another pot. And we already killed that pot. We already cute. O'Rourke's Kevin and I do not communicate on the work terms. He is left-handed. That explains it. 
I get it. I get you. I get you. No, me and Gary actually work really, we do work really well together, but a lot of it has to come down with me just being quiet and watching Gary and then figuring out what he's doing by watching him and then jumping in where I need to. Because if I ask Gary questions on like, what step are we going to do? He'll explain it to me in a way that I don't understand. It makes me more confused when he talks I to me about stuff. I will fully explain exactly everything that's going on and what we're doing step by step. And it's still not exactly computing. No. And it's so... No. To me, to save my frustration of having to repeat myself a thousand times over and, and over and over again. And to me, to save my and frustration it's the same thing of, of not having understanding to, and being like, dude, yes, you're not making any sense. You know, what are you talking but it's about? But it goes back and forth, right? <laughs> it's the same thing with like your rec when you're recording and doing certain things, right? Like, yeah. You don't want to be repeating yourself over and over and over again. So you're not going to tell me exactly what you're doing. Exactly. And I don't really care for to know exactly what you're doing. You just tell me where I need to stand and what I need to do. Right? Yeah. Like in a sense of like, hey, go stand over there and do that. Whatever you're doing, just do it over there. You know, yeah. like or, in that position. Or hey, my camera's going to be right here. Do you mind not putting your butt right in front of it? And Stuff like that. <laughs> Stuff like you that. Know? Exactly. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, it works I mean, out. It works, it works out, out really well. We we have found we our, <laughs> our ebb and flow when it comes to all of that, and working together on the job site, and then working together um, behind the scenes with making all the videos come out, and then also just family life, right? And juggling all of that because yeah. we're together constantly. But yeah, you're stuck with me. Yeah. <laughs> oh darn. <laughs> Uh, but you know, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's been a quite the journey, uh, working alongside, you know, my best friend, my husband, oh. my everything. It's been a lot of fun. We've definitely grown a lot in the last, uh, few I, years. This, uh, this last, since we moved to Arkansas, I think is like, honestly strengthened our relationship more than it was the 10 years before we moved to Arkansas. No, this you know? is, uh, this is strengthen, strengthen us like no tomorrow. That's that's for sure. This has been uh, one heck of a ride, and we have grown a lot. <laughs> a lot. A lot. A lot. In the last three years, so. But we're not done yet. We're still growing, no. and we're still learning, and we're still going to give it our all as long as we're here and we're doing it, so. Yep. That's all we can do. Um, let me see. I'm going to get back to these comments. Um, it's all great. You two have personally impacted our lives in such a positive way. We love you. We oh, love you guys back. Thank you. thank you guys so much for being our friends. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being a friend. Come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, make a floating house for them and they will stay. Be safe from predators. See, we have different ideas for what's going to be floating in the middle of that pond. Yeah. Gary, actually, yo, where'd your sketch go? Where'd it's you, on the bed. It's on the bed. Why don't you get that and show show him a thing or two while we still I'm got twenty minutes. I'm stuck in the hole right here. I'm in the hole. You're on the outer. Here you go. All right. It's a little chicken scratchy. This is what all Gary's right. planning. These we're always like <laughs> we are always several months ahead of what you guys are actually going to see on the channel. Like here on Real Talk, we're giving you guys sneak peeks and stuff of stuff that's probably several months away from. I want to have this done before summer. Yeah, but All I right. mean, still, it's we just I just. This would be a nice birthday present to myself. It would be. And it for everybody be. else, you know. And he's a June baby, so there's some sort of a timeline. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. Uh, I don't know how. Little focus. There you go. Can so... you all see that? Isn't he so good at drawing? I think he's good. Eh. This is a alright piece. This is so weird because it's backwards. They this would be like the little stairwell or stair step, like maybe one step up to the dock. This is so weird because it's backwards. I'm sorry guys. So this would go out. Uh this side, that is the uh pond or the little pedal boat. And then this would be the dock area. Ah, it's backwards. <laughs> it's so weird to put but all those round little tub things, I needed to figure out how many barrels I needed. And that's the placement of the barrels that I'm thinking of with the little running area straight down the dock and off with a little ladder coming out. So they can climb back up and mess around. But, but all those circles and stuff are where all the barrels and whatnot are going to go. 
Yeah. Which, big shout out and thank you again to Big Mike over at MT Homestead. Love you, brother. And of course, David, come on with the come on. Mm-hmm. I'm going out with the trailer and hooking everything up. You guys are, you guys are amazing, man. Thank you so much. Making dreams come true. I told Gary, just don't use two by tens when he builds it. We want it to float, not sink. <laughs> I'm gonna use two by fours, all right? I'm gonna use two by fours. So I'm gonna put metal on it. <laughs> Midnight vlogs, yes, it's a very rough copy. Yeah. I was just trying to figure out how many barrels I needed per se, and how I was gonna stagger them. I don't even know exactly the dimensions of it all, just yet. He was just kind of scared. This is just the trying first. To the see, first round. okay. If I put six over here, six over here, I could give a little space in the middle. And then two on the dock to where it can sort of go with it. Or go into the main big dock. Yeah. And it should be nice though, guys. It'll be a nice little uh, jump off and go swimming in, swimming spot. It'll also be a great spot to go fishing at. Um, we still, of course, we want to do more stuff down over there. But as the years go by, you know, it's becoming more and more of what we want it to be. Yep. For the first two years, our pond was just so overgrown and it only had that one little tiny spot that you can go fishing at and i'm really happy that last uh year in like the fall time anthony and rocks and me and gary we carved out that time well, to go and do that because you know if you don't make the time the time's never going to be found no nope. so there's always a thousand things to do um clue i got a question what's up what's your question <laughs> we'll answer it as long as it's <laughs> not something weird. <laughs> we'll answer most questions. <laughs> yeah, most Michael Edwards, that means your marriage will last a long time. Mine's lasted for 40 years. Well, congratulations on 40 year marriage. Congrats, congrats. You know, this uh, May coming up in about two and a half weeks, me and Gary are going to be having our anniversary too. Yep. For a wedding anniversary. We've been together for longer than that, but we'll be <sighs> married for. 13 years in about two and a half more weeks. Oh, 13 years. 13 years married. Wow. It's crazy. Yeah, that's nuts. That's nuts. <laughs> 13 years. Well, it's a pretty long time. Oh, man. It's a pretty long time. So I think uh, today, guys, we're going to be, I'm going to be trying to finish up as much as I possibly can inside the uh the kitchen for Brit for uh Brittany. I know I have so much baking to do today. I'm gonna make those like Reese PC bars where they're kind of like um they're kind of like granola bars in a way. Cause you use oatmeal and stuff for the bottom. I don't know how to explain it. You know what I'm saying? Best way about? I can describe it is a power bar. Or like a uh protein bar aspect. They're bomb. Yeah. They're freaking bomb. So good, but I'm gonna make some of those. I gotta make some different cookies. I gotta make like all the little side treat things. Mm -hmm. I did get all the games and stuff together for the baby shower, but that's another thing that I gotta work on is like the the board or whatever for one of the games. There's like this really nasty diaper game that we play because <laughs> it's, it's fun, <laughs> but it's nasty. Man. It's a nasty baby shower game. So one of the baby shower games, you take this board, like a, a school presentation board, right? And you take chocolate bars. And um, what the object of the game is to try to get the player to guess the correct candy. And you take a chocolate bar, different ones, and you put it in, you put it inside a diaper and you melt it. And so it looks really disgusting, right? And then you take all of those diapers and you put them up on this board so that way it's like nasty diaper, diaper number one, number two, number three, number four, etc. And the the person that has like this little bingo card type thing, right? They diaper number one and they have to guess, was that a, uh, you know, was that a hundred grand? Was that a Hershey bar? Was that a whatever candy bar? No, tiny, stop it. <laughs> every time, every time. So, yeah, so then I have, to, but I have to get that one together. And so the object of the game is whoever can get the most correct or all of them correct, you know, wins. Um, but that does require some setup for that game. You got to set the board up. I got to get all the chocolates melted. And yeah. I got to make the little cards for the guessing, for the answers and stuff for everybody. There is some setup for all the stuff that I got to do, plus all the baking. So my brain's going a thousand miles an hour. No. Um, 
I don't see the question, Clue. I don't know where you went, but I don't. I never did see your question. Judy says, congratulations on 13 years. Thank you, Judy. Thank you, Judy. It's coming up. May 2nd. It's coming up real quick. Mm -hmm. Real, real quick. Michelle Martins. Good morning, Mel and Gary. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, good morning. Uh, Jean, 37 here on Valentine's. Wow. Uh, well, congratulations. Congrats, congrats. One day we'll get there. Mm -hmm. We'll get there. Um... Amos Johnson, have you ever lived in Phoenix? No. Nope. We've uh, been to Phoenix a couple of times, but mm -hmm. we have not lived in Phoenix. Nope. It's hot. I had to travel That's, there uh, for work a couple times. Yeah. Yeah. But. It's hot. It's not that it's hot. It's We lived in, <laughs> if you're going to live in the desert and you're going to live in a big city, Vegas. No. You know, if you want that life, then just do Vegas. That's my opinion, but. <laughs> Phoenix was every any time I've ever been into Phoenix or went and visited or anything like that, it was so hot. It was like, oh my goodness. I thought Vegas was hot. I thought, you know, mm -hmm. where we were in Arizona was hot before, but no. It's like, dude, it's a whole nother ball game out there. <laughs> oh, Felix Denmark says, consider fill the barrels with water to minimize the height of the platform. Build this as a Boy Scout for many years. Great project. A good eye. That's a good suggestion right there. I will definitely keep an eye on that when uh, we get it out there and see if it's like, if it's too like, whoa, it's high up there, you know? Yeah. We'll, we'll add some water in there. That's a good idea. McAllister, leave hands down, Mel. <laughs> Brian Wilkerson, good morning, Brian. He said, what's up, Mel and Gary? Just got here. What did I miss? You missed a squirrel and hyena show. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much just some madness. You have to go rewatch, but I did show you guys a sneak peek on uh, some of the video work that I'm working on today that hopefully will come out on Simple Life Reclaimed this morning. I don't have a whole lot left of editing to do, but I do have some, so I'm hoping to get that out to you guys today because at some point I'm going to have to just say if I'm not done with it, then it is what it is and work on it again tonight, and then you guys will get it tomorrow. That's just... How I have so much other stuff I got to do today with baking and baby shower stuff and wedding stuff. So yeah. I'll put in a few hours and if I could finish it, then I'll get it out on Simple Life today. And if I can't, well, then I'll put in some more hours tomorrow and surely it would be done. But I, I feel like I'll be able to get it done today. Yeah. Um, let me see. 50th anniversary, April 18th. Uh, Melva and Donnie. Well, congratulations, guys. Congrats, congrats. Emma Morton, I've been with my hubby for 27 years, been married for 17. Congratulations. See, we're going to get there one day, Gary. There's lots of other people that have done it. We'll do it. Heck yeah. <laughs> Although it's sadly not the norm for our age group. No. Unfortunately. Sadly. Most people our age are either, you know, they don't stay together or they don't get married in the first place. No. That's more of the norm, unfortunately, but is what it is other people can do whatever they want with their lives <laughs> none of my business but yeah yep. so um joe jacobson unfortunately my wife passed just a couple months shy of 17 years married now i'm an adult orphan and a widower oh mm. i'm so sorry sucks, joe man. but i believe that um love doesn't die no love doesn't pass love stays so it's very, very sad. Mm -hmm. I've, I've learned to deal with, uh, I don't know. I've learned to deal with death in a different kind of a way. It took me a long time to kind of be all right with it a little bit, mm -hmm. but that's still very, very sad. And I wish that you still have lots of love and happiness and things that bring you joy. Find that joy. Yes. Oh man. But guys, we're going to get, um, usually we stay on for an hour, but I, I got, I'm itching to get working on this and I want to go make another pot of coffee. Another pot we, of coffee. Yeah. And I think we filled you in on all the stuff that is, that I've wanted to fill you guys in on. Sorry for not going live last night, guys. It was raining and we were tired and had a very busy day in town all day. And we were just like, you know what? Yeah. Let's hang out with the kiddos and let's watch some TV and just kind of, cause we Relax. knew today was going to be crazy. Tomorrow's going to be crazy too. So. Yeah, this whole, this whole next couple, three days, or like, the next three days are going to be intense. Yeah, because we've got so much, well, lucky you. 
<laughs> Gary gets to skeet out on Friday. <laughs> Gary's going to go leave and take off while I get stuck with the shovel. <laughs> hey, you told me I, I should, and I could. I and actually I, did. I told Gary, said, said, get out of here. You told me to get out of here. I said, all right, <laughs> are you sure? So Don't got to threaten me with a good time. So we right. set it up so Gary and David can go and have a man's day. <laughs> <laughs> so Gary's going to be hanging out with David on Friday, and I'm going to have the house to myself. So I can be going crazy, running around in the kitchen and doing all the things and juggling all the things without any uh, distractions. Because, again, my brain, right? My brain. I like to just focus on the one thing sometimes when I'm trying to get a lot done. But, um, yeah. So funny. you're going to skeet out on Friday. Maybe David will spill some beans on what you guys are up to. I'll leave it up to you. I don't know if you're, ever, if you're watching or if you will watch. Come on. But I'm sure I'll talk to you this morning. So, Well, shoot, man. I mean... <laughs> I'll give you guys a hint. How come Tiny doesn't go after you? <laughs> I'm not like this. <laughs> All right, if I was like that, it might. No, no, I didn't. Haha. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <light>. yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, they did it to me earlier. It's alright. <laughs> I know it was all zoom zoom. <laughs> um. <laughs> Kath Walden says, enjoying my coffee too. Have a productive day. Having fun with the kiddos. Yes, today's going to be very good. Uh, Cindy Brown. Hey, y'all. I'm late. Going to have to rewatch. Love y'all. Love you too, Miss Cindy. Thank you for being here. Um, Hutton Holler. Carrie and I are going on 18 years married and 20 together. I may have lost count. The higher it gets, sometimes it does. I have to think back to the year that we were married and then do math, which is not my strong suit. And then I figure it out. <laughs> That's the funniest part on it. Because I'll sit there and I'll look at her if she's wrong. And I'm like, excuse me? She, yeah, he does. <laughs> He's all, uh-uh-uh. And I'm all, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. And it's funny because I can mess with her on that one, too. Because even if she is right and I say, excuse me, she it makes her triple think of like, wait, what? Uh-huh. Right? I know. He does. He, he does. Like, I'm just messing with you. It's all right. Mm -hmm. you, you did good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wait a minute. He always confuses me. Uh, He's always confusing me. I can't help it, all right? I gotta, I gotta poke at you every now and then. Every day. You, you poke at me every day, too, so I, I can't... It's, part, it's our relationship. It's just how it is. It's fun. It all is right. fun. It is fun. All right? Don't, don't be boring. Have fun. <laughs> it keeps it interesting. Oh, man. But no, guys, um, I'm going to get working on this video. Hopefully, I'll be able to have it out on Simple Life today for you guys. Yes. And um, then we got to do all the things that, you know, we just talked about for the last hour. So we're going to be very busy. But we have been recording. I got a couple of videos on the back burner that just need to be edited. Um, and then we're going to bring you guys along this weekend, too, mm -hmm. for the baby shower and the wedding and all that. I'm not sure how much, like, because I'm going to be enjoying the time. But I'm sure I'll be recording. So I'm sure I'll be able to bring you guys along. But yeah. We are going to be definitely getting busy back to the uh, the deck builds and finishing off the 100 chickens layer mm -hmm. <laughs> slash goat pen. Yeah. So we got a lot we're working on. And the garden's booming. Yeah. Garden's, All the things. Garden's going crazy. So. And we have baby rabbits. Yeah. And we have baby turkeys. Yeah. And we have baby chickens. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to be busy. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. More, more coffee. Everyone, enjoy your day. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We love you all. Thank you for being here for this rando Real Talk Live. Um, we appreciate you guys so much. And we're rolling. So until the next one, friends, we love you all. We hope you have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later. Let me push the right button.